Good morning, everybody. Today we are making jollof rice, a West African staple dish, really. So we're going to start off with the obayata sauce, okay? Just Google an obayata sauce. It's primarily just chilies and peppers and tomatoes, and you're going to cook that down, and you're going to get this obayata sauce, which is going to be the base of the jollof rice. Now, I started cooking my obayata sauce in this big dutchie, and then I took it out and put it into a smaller saute pan. And I didn't want to get rid of all those good bits that were in there, so I went ahead and just kept it in there, added a little bit of vegetable oil, and I threw it about three to four red onions, just julienne. And there's my obayata sauce cooking right there. I learned this recipe actually on how to make jollof rice from my ex-husband, who is from Senegal, and they use it um, when they're making like chibo chin, which is a delicious dish they make over there, which is kind of like the base of it is jollof rice. But this is more of a Nigerian version. Okay, so I added about six to eight cloves of just chopped garlic. And then we're just going to saute those. I added in some of my essential seasoning, which you know we have to have that, which has thyme and garlic and all of that good stuff in it. I did two tablespoons of smoked paprika. Jollof rice, chibo chin, is normally cooked outside over an open flame. So it normally has a nice little smoky flavor. And that smoked paprika will add that to it. Okay, so I'm just looking at my obayata sauce that has been reducing, and it's going to reduce almost to like a marinara sauce, but it's a whole lot more spicier than a marinara sauce. All right, so we're going to just let that reduce, and as it reduces, and it's like almost a liquid is cooked out, we're going to pour it into that mixture of smoked paprika, onions, and garlic, okay? And then we're going to stir that around some more and just keep stirring it, and I allowed it to reduce a little bit more with all of that smoked paprika, adding that really nice smoke, yummy, yummy flavor. So let's just cook that around and let me let you guys just see that. And that's how that looks. It looks like almost like a thick marinara sauce, huh? Then so you're gonna take some fresh thyme and you're also gonna get some um some fresh bay leaf. Or use dry, that's all you have. And I also did add in some dry thyme as well and some black pepper, just a little bit. And we're gonna continue to stir. And you see that little, that little like on at the side you're just gonna pull all that in as well and then i added some tomato paste about two good gloves what is a glove i don't know put your spoon in and glug it out it ain't gonna hurt it the tomato flavor and then i'm gonna add four cups of rice i added a, a, a three cups first and then i went ahead and added another one because once i started coating it i realized i had enough sauce so you're gonna just keep coating that rice once it goes in with the um with the abayata sauce and the onions and the garlic and all of that there and then basically I, what I used was parboiled rice, which, which is what I prefer because I feel like you can't screw it up, which is normally two to one, meaning, um, meaning two cups of liquid to one cup of rice. So you can call it one to two, I guess. But I don't do one to two or two to one. What I do is I do one to one and a half. So whatever, if I use one cup of rice, I use one and a half cups of liquid to make sure that my rice doesn't get too soupy. All right. So now we're going to go in with the chicken broth or the chicken stock. And like I said, I, I don't do two to one. I do um, uh, one and a half. Well, well, one and a half to one is what I do. And then we're going to go ahead and pour all of that in. And then we're going to stir it up. And then what I do is I cook mine in the oven. I pour it into a big tin. And then I cover it. And I put it in the oven for about 45 minutes on about 375 to 400. Look how beautiful and delicious that looks, you guys. Absolutely amazing. And then if I need to re-season, I taste it. If I feel like the, the liquid needs a little bit more flavor, I add a little bit more seasoning. And then that's it. I put it in the oven in about 45 minutes. I take the top off, and it's done. And you have quick, easy party jollof rice. Thank you guys for joining me today. I really, really appreciate your support. And you guys have a good day. Enjoy your jollof rice. Bye-bye.